Solar system models, especially mechanical models, called aurories, that illustrate the relative positions and motions of the planets and moons in the solar system have been built for centuries. While they often showed relative sizes, these models were usually not built to scale. The enormous ratio of interplanetary distances to planetary diameters makes constructing a scale model of the solar system a challenging task. As one example of the difficulty, the distance between the Earth and the Sun is almost 12,000 times the diameter of the Earth. If the smaller planets are to be easily visible to the naked eye, large outdoor spaces are generally necessary, as is some means for highlighting objects that might otherwise not be noticed from a distance. The objects in such models do not move. Traditional aurories often did move and some used clockworks to make the relative speeds of objects accurate. These can be thought of as being correctly scaled in time instead of distance. <laughs> <laughs> Scale models in various locations Many towns and institutions have built outdoor scale models of the solar system. Here is a table comparing these models. Several sets of geocaching caches have been laid out as solar system models. <laughs> a model based on a classroom globe Most classroom globes are 41 cm in diameter. If the Earth were reduced to this size, the Moon would be a 10 cm baseball floating 12 m away. The Sun would be a beach ball 14 stories tall somewhat smaller than the spaceship Earth ride at Epcot floating 5 km miles away. While a complete model to this scale has never been built, a solar system built centered in Washington DC, London, or Sydney, to that scale approximately 1 to 31 million would look like this. If the scale of the above model is increased to 1 to 310 million, i.e. all distances and sizes reduced by a factor of 10, then the Earth and Venus can be modeled by ping-pong balls, the Moon and smaller planets by various size marbles or lumps of modeling clay, the gas giants by balloons or larger playing balls, and a circle the diameter of the Sun can be drawn on the floor of most classrooms. The scale distance to Alpha Centauri would be one-third of the way to the Moon. Some planetaria and related museums often use this type of scale model of the solar system, with a planetarium dome representing the Sun. Examples of this can be seen in planetaria like the Adler Planetarium and Astronomy Museum, the Hayden Planetarium at the American Museum of Natural History, the Clark Planetarium, the Griffith Observatory, the Louisiana Arts and Sciences Museum, the Adventure Science Center, etc. See also Numerical model of the Solar System